for today's lesson, I am going to talk about, about the Ascaris lumbricoids, or sometimes it is just called as Ascaris or Ascariasis. So this Ascariasis is an infection of the small intestine, which is caused by the Ascaris lumbricoids. So, um, roundworm was the common name of this species in the phylum nematoda. So this Ascaris parasite uh, lives in the intestine and are passed in the feces of an infected people. So earthworm was the Latin word for the lumbricoids. It is a large nematode in the human intestine. So at, as what you can see in the screen, so the right image shown the earthworm and the left side was the roundworm. So I think uh, most of us is nakakita na tag earthworm which is um, dali lang natin na siya gakakita sa atang uh, palibot. But I don't think about the roundworm kung nanabay nakakita sa inyo. So this um, Ascaris is a parasitic worms known as soil transmitted um, helminths or the STH together with um, the wimp worm and the hook worm. So together they account for a major burden of parasitic disease worldwide. So so United States though, Ascariasis is uh, not commonly known. And <clears throat> Ascaris, Ascaris parasites live in the intestine and Ascaris eggs are passed in the feces to of um, infect, infected people. So just like um, for example, if an infected person defecates outside, uh, for example, um, near brushes, um, or maybe in a garden or field because um, they have uh, no uh, proper um, sanitation because they have they don't because they are lacked of good uh, facilities um, where they can defecate so if the feces of an infected person are used as fertilizer um, eggs are deposited into the soil so kanang eggs can then be mature into a form of the parasite that is infective and ascariasis is caused by kanang ingesting eggs so this can be happened when our hands or fingers that have contaminated with the dirt on them are put in the melt or by kanang Kanang consuming vegetables or fruits that have not been carefully cooked or kanang wala na tarong og hugas or di kaya wala na tarong og peel. So, <clears throat> people with ascariasis often um, show no symptoms, but if they do, um, it occur um, can be light and include abdominal discomfort. So, um, there are um, these heavy infections which can cause intestinal blockage and impair growth in children. So, other symptoms such as cough and are due to migration of the worms through the body. So, this was the um, life cycle of uh, the, what you called, um, ascariasis. Uh, lumbricoids. So first, uh, well, I not want to mention. So, ang kaning ascariasis lumbricoids is different sila og sex. Ay, number, uh, different, different. And um, this uh, lahi ang length sa male nga ascariasis and lahi po tang sa uh, female. So, ang uh, male is 15 to 20 centimeters which is smaller than the female which is kay ang female is 20 centimeter to um 35 centimeter so um as christian requires life cycle so first 
um, adult worms lived in the lumen of the small intestine. So a female may produce you know, approximately 200,000 eggs per day which are passed with the feces. So it, can you imagine 200,000 eggs per day? So um, can you unfertilize eggs? Um, will not undergo further development okay these eggs may be ingested but not infected siya okay wala pa man siya develop so kanang larvae developed into infectivity with fertile eggs after um 18 days or um several weeks so can you fertilize eggs is um it depends on the environmental condition, conditions and optimum moist, warm, or shaded soil. So, kana, after, um, for after that, so ingested of embryonated eggs. So, um, the larvae hatch. So, mag produce na sila o ganang, uh, it is the production of young. Uh, from an eggs. So after that, it will invade the um, intestinal mucosa and are carried via the portal, then systematic circulation to the lungs. So um, the larvae mature further into the lungs <coughs> about um, 10 to 14 days. So ma penetrate na siya to the alveolar walls and then ascend the bronchial trees to the throat and are um, swallowed so upon reaching the small intestine um, upon reaching to the small intestine they developed into an adult worm so larvae are called a uh, and swallowed so re-entering the gastrin gastrointestinal tract so then maturation proceeds in the small intestine so mauna siya ang kanyang life cycle and then after um mapas na po na siya if that kanyang infected person is magdefecates na po siya so the uh, the diagnosis for this <coughs> Ascargasis is the stand or method for diagnosing ascargasis is by identifying the ascaris eggs in a stool sample using a microscope because eggs may be difficult to find in light infections. So a concentration procedure is um, recommended. So the treatment for this is um anthelmintic uh, medication which is kanang mo na drugs that rid the body of parasitic worms such as albendazole and mebendazole are the drugs of choice for treatment of ascaris infections regardless of the species of worm so kanang infections are generally generally treated for one to three days so then the drugs are effective and appear to have a few side effects that would be all thank you